feel free to play along in the chat. Feel free to play along. This is hard. This is hard, and I need I need people checking behind me. Cause I used to I used to teach math. I used to be amazing at math, but I still make mistakes every single day. So you don't, play along in the play along in the chat if you want. Okay, this is level three. I'm gonna give you guys a second to go ahead and look at level three. Uh, where do you what? What rows and what columns are we safe with? Which ones do we know everything about that row and column? Or, or enough to know what to flip or what not to flip? Go ahead, go ahead and answer that one. I'll let you guys get first dibs. You guys can pick. You and you gals as well. You guys can pick where, where we play first. Don't mess me up. <laughs> I know I just asked for help, but don't mess me up. Okay, so Sheep is just saying... We should start flipping over the purple row, seven one uh, seven zero. Yes, that's absolutely right. That we we don't even have to pay attention to as we flip it. We can flip them all over. There's zero Voltorbs in this in this row, as you can see here. Also, it adds up to equal seven, so that means if it's greater than five, that means we're gonna get some points for flipping stuff over. We already have three points because there's a three here. There's a three here. Uh, let's see. He also says don't touch anything in the red row. Again, perfect. Don't touch anything because we know if the number on the top plus the number on the bottom adds up to equal five, then we don't have to flip over anything because we know that everything in that row or I'm sorry, everything in that row is a Voltorb or a one. Perfect. That's perfect. Let's see, he's been he's been behind on Soul Silver. Hey, no 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 worries, man. The videos aren't going anywhere. They're up there. Watch them at your leisure. I've been too busy to watch. <laughs> I normally watch along. We're going to do the green column because it has the same criteria as the red row. Numbers on top and numbers on bottom add up to equal five. So we don't flip over anything. We're going to mark it all down. I normally watch the videos as they post as well because, honestly, I record them so far ahead of time that once they actually do post, I don't remember what happened. I don't remember what happened myself, so I get to watch just like it's a show as well. Okay. Where's another good place to go? Now, we're we're at the hard part. Now, this has gotten to the hard point. There's nowhere else that's safe, and then we've got rows with three Voltorbs. We've got rows with three Voltorbs. Uh, honestly, sometimes I like starting there. I like starting there, but I, we don't know enough information to start there. We'd be marking, we'd be marking wildly. The only thing that we definitely do know is that I guess we can mark it off there can't be a three in the blue row there can't be a three in the blue row let's assume this would be a three because there's three points in that row that means everything else will have to be a Voltorb so we know the stuff can't be a three I mean marking it like this doesn't really help us too much but it's better than knowing nothing it's better than nothing uh Sheepish, I don't know if you know this, but the hiatus will be over very soon. The fact that I'm streaming. Streaming was one of the plans that I wanted to do. And and uh, I'm currently streaming. So I'm not calling the hiatus off just yet, but it's very close. It's very close. There's a lot of stuff that I want to work on. There's a lot of stuff that I actually want to be able to be done consistently. So uh, it's very near. It's very near. Okay, back to Voltor flip. Back, we're here for Voltor flip. Same. Let's see if we can say that about the blue row. Then we can also say that about the yellow row because we know the exact same information, the exact same information. So let's go ahead and mark those down as well. Oops, oops. All right, let's mark those down. Okay. Um. Hmm. The green row. The green row is calling my name. Not gonna lie. Green is calling my name. The safest square to guess, because ultimately that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing right now. The safest square to guess would be the square in the green row that intersects with the yellow column. Because there's the least amount of Voltorbs in those two. Those two row that row in that column. And there's the highest point value at that square. Now it could be wrong. It could, it could entirely be wrong. This could be a Voltorb, but we, we have to make a guess here, and that'll help everything else out. It's a three. Oh, it's a three. Oh. <laughs> Had a small heart attack there. Had a small heart attack. It'll be okay. 
Okay. So now with us knowing that's a three, that changes a lot of stuff. Especially with the yellow column. Let's go back to yellow column right now. Let's go back to yellow column. Um, okay, so we know four points. We know that if there's a three here and there's a one here, that top number adds up to equal six. That means there has to be two left somewhere. There has to be two. Um, I'm sorry, the numbers, the panels that haven't been flipped over yet add up to equal two. And one of those is also a Voltorb. Well, if that's the case, then neither of these can be two. Because that would mean that we have two Voltorbs. That would mean there's two Voltorbs in this column, but there's only one. So neither of these can be two. We now know that everything left here is a, is a what? Voltorb or a one. Everything left here is a Voltorb or a one. So let's see. Where can we go next? Where can we go next and learn some stuff? Where can we go next and learn some stuff? Let's see. Like I said, this is the hard part. This is the part where you have to start thinking for real. You have to think for real. Okay, let's see. Um, I think we want to go. Okay, so the, the safest square to guess on is the square in the green row that intersects with the purple column. Is that the safest? I think that's the safest. I shouldn't say safest. They're all just as risky. This is the most beneficial. Because the number value is the highest in that one. The number value is the highest in that one. Okay, let's take a look there. If we know that we have three points already, we found three already. That means in the squares that are left, they had up, have to add up to equal three. And there's two Voltorbs. They have to add up to equal three, and there's two Voltorbs. So that means one of these is a Voltorb. Sorry, that's not true. Only one of these is a two. Only one of these is a two. And the rest are Voltorbs and ones. One, two, three. Yeah. Only one of these is a two, and the rest are Voltorbs and ones. I think that's right. I think that's right. One of these two is a two. And the others are Voltorbs of ones. This can't be a two, can it? I, I guess there's nothing saying it can't be a two just yet. Okay, so this is a Voltorb or one. We're not flipping that. There's nothing saying this can't be a two just yet. Wow, that was close. <laughs> that was close. Not gonna lie. That was close. Okay. So let's see. Now I think we need to start looking. Oh man, do we go to this one and assume the same thing? Okay, there's five points in the blue column. There's five points in the blue column and two are Voltorbs. Two will be Voltorbs. Uh we know this is a one, so we can take that out of the top of the blue column. So for the rest, there's two Voltorbs, and the rest add up to equal four. There's nothing saying this square here, the one that's in the blue column in the green row, can't be a three. So we're going to go. I hate marking all of this because this, this doesn't tell me any more than this does. This doesn't tell me anything. This says, well, this could be anything. This also says... That this could be anything. Okay. So the rest have to be four. And there's two Voltorbs. I say that because. Except for this square. Except for the one that I have selected here. Anything could be a one. And this could be a three. Or any of these could be a two. Like this is, this is a hard column. This is a hard column right here. The blue column is too hard right now. Let's look at the red column. Let's look at the red column. There's two Voltorbs in this column, and the rest of the squares add up to equal four. We already know one is a one, so let's take that out of the equation. In these four squares, there's two Voltorbs, and the rest add up to equal four. Once again, we don't know enough. <laughs> we don't know enough. And me marking this down, and me marking this down, it looks like that. Okay. So let's see. I guess we gotta look at the green row. 
I guess we got to look at the green row. Let's see. Sheepish, uh, sheepish excuse me, says there should be a two in the column. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Um, if these could also be Voltorbs, if these could be Voltorbs, then there's the chance that this could be a three as well. There's a chance that this could be a three. As soon as we can take the Voltorbs out of this, then yeah, we can we can assume that this is a two. I think I think that makes sense. What I just said, I think that makes sense. <laughs> okay, I think we gotta start looking. We gotta start looking somewhere. We gotta start looking somewhere. I want to look at this green row. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so he said, "Wouldn't that make the points five? I, I said that wrong. We know that this is a one. Oh snap! Wait, he's right. Sheepish is right. Okay, we can take the three out of here. We can take it out. Because if this is a one, that means there's three points left. This can't be a three because that would mean there's three Voltorbs. Sheepish is right. Like I said, I make mistakes every time. I love logic puzzles. I do logic puzzles for fun. My girlfriend hates it. <laughs> but I make mistakes every... You, you can make mistakes very easily in this. Okay, so he's right. He, he checked my work. He checked my work for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, so that's not a three. That can't be a three. That's a two. Okay. Moving on. We got to start guessing stuff for the green row. Ultimately, that's what's going to get us through this, I think. We're going to have to guess stuff for the green row. Okay. So if we already know the three for the eight. That means there's five left amongst the four squares. There's five left amongst the four squares. There's one Voltorb. Three, one, one, shoot. Okay, so we can't take that out. We can't take the three out of here because it's still possible that the three would add up. It would be three, three. There'd be a, a one, a one, and a Voltor. That makes that makes eight in, in one Voltor. And then the same thing we could do, two, two, one, Voltor. Man, we're at the rough part. I hate, I hate, <laughs> I just hate in general. Can this be a three? Yeah, this could be a three. Okay. Um... Where are we going? Where are we going? Man, this is hard. This is at, this is the hard point. I think we get here this quickly. Where are we going next? Where are we going? I want honestly, I want to get rid of either the yellow row or yellow. I'm sorry, yellow row or blue row. That would make this so much easier. But it, at that point, it's a guess again. Here's six. I'm sorry, here's three. That means there's three left and two Voltorbs. Uh, here in the yellow, in the yellow column. There's six, four left. I'm sorry, two left and one bold tour. Knowing something, knowing anything else would help us so much right now. Knowing anything else would help us. Even knowing where one is would help us at this point. Uh, I want to call this the safest guess. This is the most beneficial guess. But if it's not, I'm going to be mad. If it's, if it's a Voltorb, I'm going to be so mad. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing here? What, are, what What's going on? What's going on? Three. 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 Three left. Three left. Three left. Uh, I'm just going to guess. We're at the point where it's just a guessing game. It's... it's oh, it's a three! It's a three! <laughs> it's a three! Okay. Okay. So this being a three helps us out. We know that, okay, for there to be one Voltorb left. And let's see, if this is the Voltorb, those would have to be ones. Oh, if we know that there's one Voltorb left, we know that there's no twos here. We know there's no twos. Everything left is a Voltorb or a one. Everything left is a, <laughs> everything left is a Voltorb or a one. Okay. Oh. You see how much that helped us out? Knowing just any one more square helped us out so much. Okay. Let's go back to the purple. I think we can do the purple one now. Two, one, Voltorbs. No. No. It's, it's a guessing game here if we, do, if we do the purple column. Let's see. He says the five, two is done. Let's check it. This is a three. Let me, let me move this because it's messing me up. Uh, this is a three and one. That's four. Right. The blue column is done. Five, two is done because with four gone, that means there's one point left. I'm sorry, there's one number left. And the rest are Voltorbs. 
Perfect. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. I think we're back here now. Are we back in the blue, yellow col- uh, row? I'm, I'm so happy to, to do those. I'm excited to do those. No, we're not there yet. We know that one of these is a two, and then everything else is Voltorb to ones. We're not there yet. Calm down, chill. Okay. Let's look at the red column. Let's look at the red column. We'll look at the red column. Uh, there's four. The numbers add up to equal four. There's two Voltorbs. We already know one. So that means the, num- the numbers of the squares left add up to equal three. And there's two Voltorbs. So one of these is a two. One of these is a one. And the rest are Voltorbs. I'm sorry. One of these is a two. And the rest are Voltorbs or ones. That's, that's the right way to do it. Are we back at the guessing game? I think we're back at the guessing game, right? Let's see. Sheepish says 6-1 is done. 6-1 uh, yellow column. Yeah, that's done. Everything left is a Voltorb or one. We're, we're at the, the worst guessing game ever. We have to guess two squares. We have to guess one for the red row. I'm sorry, red column. And then one for the purple column. But once we get one of them, we'll be able to get the other. So we're really at a 50-50 chance. We're at a 50-50 chance. All right. Leaving this up to the chat. Which one do I which one do I flip? Flip red blue, sheepish say. Sheepish say flip red blue. He says I should flip the red column intersecting with the blue row. Here we go. Hey! Shout out to Sheepish! <laughs> hey! Cause honestly, I was gonna get this one. I wanted to do this one. <laughs> but that's that one's wrong. That one is wrong. Uh, if this adds up to four, we have two, one makes three. One of these is a Voltorb in the, I'm sorry. Yeah. One of these is a Vol. One's a one and the other is a Voltorbs. So let's go ahead and get rid of that, which means this one is the one. Yo, I was, I would have been so wrong. How do I always, listen, why do I always want the one that's wrong? Every single opportunity at being wrong, I am wrong. Just so you guys know. <laughs> Okay, so we got 108 coins in that one. We got 108 coins. Dope. That's pretty. I don't know if you guys see that over there. In that down there. But that's pretty dope. 